Hey YouTube, welcome to Tinkro Tools. I'm Taylor and today we're going to be talking about the DeWalt Atomic 20 Volt Vax Impact Driver. Now this is the new new impact driver uh, in the Atomic lineup. We're not talking about the older one. This is the one that when it came out, um, all anyone could ever say was how small it was and how on earth did they make it. I remember when I saw, first saw photos of it, it almost felt like it couldn't actually be real and it was maybe more of just a rendering from, from a fan or, or someone that was hopeful that it would be. I was able to get my hands on this at Home Depot a few months ago, and it is real, it's very small, it still maintains quite a bit of power, and there's a lot going right with this impact driver. We're going to discuss that today on Tinker with Tools. Now, like I said, don't confuse this with the previous generation of Atomic Impact Driver. That one comes in at about 1,700 inch-pounds, certainly a capable tool, and it's going to be fine for a lot of people. But this one is actually on par power and speed with their larger XR Impact, the DCD887, the one that's, you know, the top of the line DeWalt Impact Driver. And this, unlike that other Im Atomic Impact, also has the three speed selector. So it allows you to kind of hone in on that power a little bit. Now, like I said, there are three speeds. They are going to give you a little bit of control. However, one of the drawbacks I find with this Impact Driver is in that speed one, you're really not going to be getting a whole lot done. We'll demonstrate that later today, but speed one just really seems to crawl, almost crippling the tool and making it not as useful. Speed two, I find, is actually really great to work in, and speed three is where you're really gonna feel the power of this tool. It just feels like it's got a cage monster in there waiting to be let out. Now the collet on this is like the other DeWalt collets. It is a quick insert collet, so you're able to put that bit right in without having to depress anything. Um, you do have to simply pull it to get it out, just like the other DeWalt impacts. And I find it's actually a pretty good collet. The only thing, I, the only complaint I could find with it is just that there's quite a bit of movement in and out with it. I think compared to some of the other impact drivers that I have, I, I think it's actually just a DeWalt thing. It's not, not something I'm as much used to being more of a Milwaukee guy. But I do think that it holds on to the bits really well and does a great job there. Now one of the defining features of just about any of the DeWalt impacts is going to be the three LED lights. You can see right there, gives really good broadcast of the light, lights up the whole area. Because they're surrounding the entire collet, you're not actually ending up with any shadows or something blocking it like the bit, making it hard for you to see, especially when you're in a dimly lit area. This is what I would consider a class leading light on a tool, and I really hope that some of the other competitors take notice and start to put that on more of their tools, making it better. Now today I am running this on the new DeWalt PowerStack battery. You can see that right there. The PowerStack is their new lithium polymer battery type. It's more of a stack cell instead of the round cylindrical cells that you're used to. And it comes out with just a nice compact size. Now this is a 1.7 amp hour battery. It's a little bit smaller than what you would normally think. I know the DeWalt basic tools come with a 1.3. If you step up a little bit, they oftentimes will include a 2.0 in there. So this is smaller, but it's going to deliver power more similar to their bigger batteries, like a 5. It just won't have the run time of those. When you already have a really small compact impact driver, I think it just pairs so nicely with that battery and really is great. Now they have leaked a 5.0 uh, power stack battery coming out at some point this next year. I'm really excited to see what that offers and see how it compares to the actual 5.0 that I've got here in the shop. Now today I've actually got this running off of the new DeWalt PowerStack battery. I picked that up a while ago at Lowe's uh, just as kind of their better battery deal. But if you actually head over to Home Depot right now, you can actually get this impact driver as a bare tool for $149. And if your Home Depot still has it in stock or if you go online and can find it in stock, you will actually get the PowerStack starter kit, which comes with a PowerStack battery and a charger making this a kit for just $149. That is a great price. Don't let that deal pass you by if you're looking to get into this impact driver. It is going to really make for a nice compact package as you're talking about that. Now, like I said, this compares favorably on specs with the specs on paper to the outgoing DCD887, which has been the DeWalt top of the line impact driver for quite a few years now. There, there are rumors floating around, whether they've been confirmed or not, I'm not really sure, of a new DeWalt impact driver that looks more like the DCD840, which you can actually get over at Lowe's, has similar power specs to this, the 840, but in a slightly bigger package. The XR that's coming out soon looks to be taking after that, but it'll probably have more power 
and it'll have that speed selector which the 840 lacks. Now should you pick this up now or should you wait for that new rumored uh, XR impact? Well I think it comes down to what you're trying to accomplish. This drill is actually a very nice compact size, has plenty of power for the things I need to do with it, and although it does spit out a lot of air when you're using it, I think overall it's a great, great drill to use. Especially with that power stack battery, it keeps it nice and compact, real lightweight, very well balanced. The DeWalt grip feels great in the hand, and I think it's just a great tool. You still have the three-speed selector. You're still able to control things a little bit more, and so I think this is a great overall tool. And if, if you decide to, that 149 package right now that they've got over at Home Depot, or the 149 kit, is a great price. Get you into this and can get you into the DeWalt lineup if you're not already there. So there you have it. While it may not be the biggest and most powerful impact on the market, it does compete with the bigger, more premium impact drivers. Comes in at the smallest size you can get, really nice, short and compact, lightweight and ergonomic, and I think it makes a great addition to anybody's lineup. Thanks for joining us here on Tinker with Tools. If you like what you see, go ahead and give us a like, and if you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be notified next time we launch videos. Till next time, this has been Tinker with Tools. Go out and enjoy your time in the shop.